What's happening everyone? Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV, back once again with another video. Uh, Monday morning, the morning after the game before, and obviously it was West Ham 2, uh, Tottenham 1. Um, what do you say after a performance like that? We're, we're sitting in fourth spot, nine points above them lot. Um, I don't know whether you've seen my Twitter, but I've been posting a load of uh, stuff from their forums, um, which is absolutely hilarious. And look, this season, this this wave that we're riding just keeps on going. It just keeps on going and going and going. We've got some, don't get me wrong, we've got some tough games coming up. Um, Man City next week, Arsenal, um, that's not going to be an easy game. They've picked up their form recently, although they've had a little bit of a dip of late. But um, yeah, we're, we're doing superbly. And, and Lingard, what a signing. Uh, Antonio was so important yesterday. Um but the battling, what's the what's the word? The battling elements of the team that you know the the never say die attitude. Look, we wasn't great yesterday. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sit here and, and and tickle bollocks and say we was fantastic. Like I thought Tottenham for for large parts of the game were the better side. But that's the grit and determination we've got at the minute. You know, like nobody in this earth when Mora scored that go on 65 minutes or whatever it was, thought we was going to be able to we've last that for another 25, 30 minutes. But we did. We, we, we rarely threatened, which, again, you could attribute to, you know, Antonio started to struggle a little bit. Um, but gr great to see him back and, and capping it with a goal. That's what he does. He gets in them dangerous positions. Um, you know, he started to wane a little bit, which if we'd have had another centre forward to bring on you know, maybe relieve the pressure on him. But listen, it, it is what it is. You know, as as they say, we, we can address these issues at the end of the season. Let's ride this wave and see how far we can go. Let's ride the wave, see how, see what we can do. I mean, Champions League is a dream, obviously. Um, we're sitting in fourth position at the minute. We've got some tough games coming up. But listen, we've got winnable games as well. Some of them games are at home. Man City would be a tough challenge. Um, but a lot of people, including myself, were attributing this game to the one that's going to determine how far we've come. And we looked, we looked okay. <laughs> we, you know, we held our own. Um, and a lot of these teams are not going to let us. You know, they're not going to want us up there. Um, but we're still slipping under the radar. We're still, you know. I'm still doing the, the fans proud, to be quite honest with you. Um, the boys to a man yesterday were brilliant. Um, everybody, Rice was world class yesterday. Um, and there's, you know, Tottenham fans saying that they wouldn't swap their midfielders for. I see Tottenham fans saying they wouldn't swap their defenders for any of ours, which is which is mental. Um, listen, let's ride it. Let's enjoy it. Enjoy your Monday. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. And we prepare for Man City and see what we can do there. One thing left to say, come on your hands.